All right, so tell us who you are. Austin Chang. All right. Go uh, for it. Okay, so it's uploaded. Ooh, Simon neat. says, and waits for your input to start. Right. And it's got a high score counter here for each okay. session. It doesn't carry over over sessions though. Oh, good. Uh, so this is start button. Cool. And the go shows up whenever it's the player's um, turn to start. I see. And that's uh, important because they are uh, timed. Ah, okay. So if you don't push it within a minute. Yeah, if you don't push it within the time that uh, the actualities oh. go, okay. it'll give you a... And that was the loose condition right there. Got it. So explain um, to us a little bit what you did with the buttons. Because I noticed they're hooked up a little yeah, differently. Yeah, they... Uh, each one of the... Uh, input sides of the buttons goes to the um, power mm -hmm. and these are all different resistors here mm -hmm. and uh, each button produces a different uh, voltage read to the single uh, reading analog pin and so wow. there's some logic in the programming to uh, read what level it's at to determine each button press. Right. Mm, very well applied, okay. And uh, it does also speed up after seven rounds sure. to uh, about twice the speed. I haven't yet been able to beat the entire game, Got that's it. why yeah. I added the high score. Cool. And you did the whole pattern matching? Uh, yeah, whole okay. pattern. Cool. All right. Excellent work. Really good job. Thank you.